Shane Sixes here in Victory Lane, and I'm told he may need a four-wheeler to get this one off the speedway. <laughs> Is that right? Needs, needs the four-wheeler, right? Maybe the four-wheeler to get off the speedway. All right. Yeah, how you doing, Shane? I tell you what, good to see you. Three wins last season, and the season opener now. Yeah, it feels good to come out on the season opener and be able to pull off a victory and be here in Victory Lane. You know, it takes a lot of effort through everybody. It's just not me. You know, it takes the whole family to make this work, and I'm very fortunate to have that. Well, you did a great job tonight. You know, during the off season, a lot of people wanted to know about the mini stock division. Some of the other drivers, like Frankie Gorn, going to late models. I believe Jeremy Ott went to another division. But it still was a decent car account here for the season opener. Where do you see the mini stock division through 2017? I see it coming together. I mean, there's a couple people that still haven't had their equipment together yet. Um, I really think nine cars today surprised me, to be honest. So I'm hoping throughout the year it gets better and there's more car count. Um, I know that there's people coming up. It's going to be very hard to beat. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and you're right. I, I didn't know we would get nine on the first night. So that that is promising. and. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you're planning to be here quite a bit this season. Yeah, we, uh, as a family, had talked. We never ran for points before, so this year we're going to try to make it every Friday night and, and run for points here and make us our home track and enjoy it. All right, that sounds great, Shane. I know a lot of folks here in this area will be glad to have you here each and every week. I know I will. Always good to see you. And you've got a great family, great car. A lot of great marketing partners talk about them. Yeah, I got to thank my grand or my father. If it wasn't for my father, I wouldn't have this race car. And my grandfather, he puts a lot of money into it, motor wise. And Johnny Cogwell, I got to thank him tremendously. He dumped a pile of money into this thing over the off season, and just to help us out a lot. And um, J.R. Bivens tunes it all the time. Doug Dolphmeyer, he's a tuner. Um, my grandmother, she's the biggest supporter I could ever ask for. She just loves it and. Um, just everybody. I mean, this whole crew, you got Frankie Gordon down here, Big Frank, they were in the car, and Big Frankie was head first down towards the pedals tonight, and I just can't thank everybody enough. It just makes a big group effort and make it happen. I got to thank uh, Rick Seamless Gutters, Orange General Repair, um, L. Woods Auto Salvage, um, uh, Harold Robinson's Roofing, uh, and my family. <laughs> All right, hey, that's a lot, but it's a great family effort. Shane, good to see you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Shane Sixes, your mini stock feature winner right here at Path Valley. Yeah, we mentioned Frankie Gordon. He's right here in Victory Lane, moving up to Steel Block Late Models this season. I was told Jeremy Ott went to Legends, but I'm also told he may have a Thunder car. So in another division, I don't know if Jeremy will do a lot of mini stock driving or not. We'll keep an eye on that one. Anyway.